Hey guys, I'm here at the drugstore. Let's check out what is new from CVS. Well, check it out. Looks like we have some new drugstore dupes. Look at this packaging. Look at this packaging. This is a CVS store brand. Organic sunscreen. This does have fragrance. It also has shea butter, which is a good moisturizer. Ascorbyl glucosides, a stable form of vitamin C that may help defend against oxidative stress. Got my review of these new moisturizers from Neutrogena. I am currently using the Hydro Boost water cream a lot. I really like it. It's got natural moisturizing factors, lipids, and hyaluronic acid. So it's really good for dry skin, winter skin, but it's nice and lightweight too. And then their water gel, speaking of lightweight, is even more lightweight, uh, but a really great option if you're just looking for, well, a lightweight facial moisturizer. It has urea in it which is really good at hydrating and softening dry skin and it has glutamic acid in it um, as well as some other amino acids which are good for improving moisture content this is interesting they have the accelerated wrinkle repair smoothing serum 21.99 is that correct um this one has hyaluronic acid retinol and a phyto complex does it have fragrance in it? I don't like, yeah, it does. I really dislike fragrance in leave-on products, like anything really leave-on for the face, especially retinol, especially sunscreen. I just find that it gives me a headache, worsens redness, and it's a really common allergen. But check it out, they have the CVS version of the Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Eye Gel Cream. Pretty nice um, for brightening up the under eye with a little boost of hydration. But honestly, I usually just use the moisturizer around my eye. Now, here's the thing. Here at CVS, they're charging $18.99 for their version and $26.79 for the Neutrogena version. But I swear, you can get this on Amazon, I want to say or like Walmart for significantly less than the CVS version, I feel like. I could be wrong on that, but that's often the case with these store versions. It's like Userin came out with, is this, this is a new, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm getting excited here because, um, oh, this is just new packaging of the Q10 um, cream with aka pro retinol this is the one with pro retinol which i pointed this out with this product before it just has a new package the pro retinol that's retinol palmitate it's an antioxidant there's no problem with it but if you're seeking the benefits of retinol you're not going to get it from retinol palmitate it's not going to improve collagen it's not going to improve dark spots um well it may kind of help them fade because of the antioxidant effect but i'm telling you just go with retinol, retinaldehyde, or adapalene. They're all gentle. All that to say, this is a good product. Um, I also like this one a lot. It doesn't have the, ret the retinol palmitate in it. It's just Q-Town, Ubiquinone, which is an antioxidant that shows promise for not only improving you know, oxidative stress in the skin, but boosting up your skin's own antioxidant systems, which get depleted upon exposure to environmental aggressors. They also wane with age because the epidermis thins as part of the na natural aging process. So you, you lose things as it thins. You lose the antioxidants. You also lose and have a decline in the machinery necessary to utilize UVB to form vitamin D. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. And that is something that actually declines with age as you get thin of the skin whoa what is this coats brand um let me know if you've heard of it before i've never seen it they have a gentle hydrating cleanser here with hyaluronic acid niacinamide and ceramides 19.99 um it, it kind of it seems like they're trying to be like um la roche posay or like the la roche posay tolerian cleanser i don't know i'm kind of getting that vibe here i'm telling you you know who has a really good gentle cleanser with ceramide rock was featured in my 2023 cleanser favorites, but I'd be interested to try that. Um, maybe it's less expensive somewhere else. Uh, I've never heard of this brand though. They also have a gentle hydrating toning milk, mandelic acid, hyaluronic acid, ceramide, vitamin C, and niacinamide. No fragrance. Okay, we there, there are things we can work with here. 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid is a stable form of vitamin C. Probably not gonna do all of what you're seeking out of vitamin c but it is more stable than ascorbic acid niacinamide 
is so widely available on different skincare products you don't necessarily have to go out of your way to find it but it is really good if you tolerate it it does so many things for your skin it's anti-inflammatory good for redness dark spots hyperpigmentation speaking of which this is a mandelic acid toner like this is a gem right here I, i'm almost tempted to buy this and give it a try 2249 doesn't seem too bad one of my favorite mandelic acid toners as a side note is from wish trend is that the name of the brand <laughs> yeah the mandelic acid water really good um but mandelic acid is a alpha hydroxy acid it's very gentle helps hydrate and gently exfoliate and can help with uh, fading dark spots right now i'm using that isn't tree chestnut aha otherwise i would jump in on this i'm not gonna buy it today because like i said i've got some other things in the works but i'm keeping that in the back of my mind this also interests me because it has of course ceramides lipids naturally found in your skin barrier and applying them in a cream may help boost that up a bit to help with barrier function polyglutamic acid really like this ingredient for hydrating as well as improving skin elasticity this is this whole line despite the price point i think it's a little pricey looks looks intriguing let me know in the comments if you have heard of this gloss medics hmm this is new too we have a clarifying gel cleanser you guys know i really like gel cleansers lots of cute pictures i don't mind fragrance in a cleanser especially if it's not like foul desyl glucoside is a, a mild surfactant um desyl glucoside is an alkyl glucoside they were named allergen contact allergen of the year a few years ago um and while that sounds really scary it, it's not it just means that like it's an emerging allergen to be aware of and it, it is something that people like i said develop allergy to not super common but it's in a lot of like real mild cleansers lactic acid is good for softening dry rough skin helping to smooth the skin surface then we have they've got some hydrocolloid patches love these for cutting down on picking they create a barrier these look kind of small but um yeah they're helpful i like the mighty patch ones they're they have a variety of sizes then we have a peptide glaze serum um okay trying to be a little bit like Hailey bieber there i do like her peptide glazing fluid this actually looks promising though i mean just from an ingredient standpoint i've obviously never tried it 9.99 go what, one and a half ounces that's pretty standard niacinamide again we already talked about that palmito oil tripeptide 5 probably helpful for moisturizing the skin all right all right i see what you're doing there yeah this is it just me this brand is kind of like giving copycat like this lychee berry they're trying to copy Hailey bieber aren't they I, I feel like they are lychee berry lip glaze i don't like her i don't like her lip balm it is too sticky and it's not moisturizing it makes a mess but the rest of her skincare products are are surprisingly good fragrance flavorants and lip balms common reason to develop irritant uh, chelitis basically chap lips related to ingredients that are irritating not everyone has that problem but it's a, it's a frequent culprit so be aware of that but shea butter and peptides moisturizing now i've talked about this brand before but i see is this new from them the pro retinol i see here we go again with the pro retinol this is another one retinol palmitate is a retinol ester antioxidant i mean no no different than like saying oh this is a eye cream with vitamin e or oh this is an eye cream with vitamin c and you know they're antioxidants not bad but if you are specifically seeking a retinol for around the eyes that is gentle enough but is going to get in there and help to stimulate collagen production as well as to actively help in clearing and preventing dark spots retinol palmitate is not where it's at it's not going to do that this also has hyaluronic acid it's moisturizing 36.49 no 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 here's a mighty patch speaking of which they just have the nose patch and the forehead patch these are great though if you pick your skin the 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 key to stopping picking you kind of have to do a three-part thing do a little journaling where every time you find yourself picking you kind of journal what were the events that led you to do that like is it just boredom is it um is it like a stressful meeting is it when you haven't been sleeping well and so once you have some some knowledge about what the trigger is well then you make sure you have one of these in place whenever you're in the scenario of the trigger 
So this basically removes the gratification of picking, right? It prevents you from picking, so it takes that out of the out of the picture. And then you replace it with something benign, like squeezing a stress ball or doing a craft. Like, yeah, you can tell your boss, um, I'm stressed out right now about this meeting, so I'm just gonna knit a blanket for a moment so I don't so I don't aggravate my skin. Tell him Dr. Dre told you to do that. Um I can write a letter. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm sure that I'm sure that that will go over well with, with your corporate entities. Oh look, you guys! A double renewal moisturizer from CVS. This is new as well. Speaking, I was just talking about the La Roche Posay Tellurian Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Twenty-two ninety-nine for the La Roche Posay one. Eighteen forty-nine for the CVS one. Um, plus, you know, you can do this mambo combo. This is the, the, the La roche Pose one I really like a lot. It's a nice, just basic moisturizer. We have Sky Organics Castor Oil Conditioning Oil. This is very moisturizing, very viscous. Um, a lot of people like to use it on their lashes and their brows. May help cut down on lash breakage, but doesn't actually, it's not actually proven to impact the hair growth cycle. Some people claim it grows their hair. Um, a lot of people like using this on the face. I, you know, it's very viscous. Some people dilute it out with something like argon oil, so it's a little thinner. No, no, no surprise that you find it to be beneficial. The the active compound in this, the active chemical, if you will, is ricinoleic acid. It's anti-inflammatory. May have some analgesic properties to it. Um, the ricinoleic acid is what, if you give, if you take this by mouth, it's what kind of makes it act as a laxative. Um, and also can can lead to um, what do you call it when you have a baby? Uterine contractions. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. L'Oreal is not sleeping on the job. Stepping up with an SPF 50 broad spectrum fragrance-free sunscreen lotion, 3349. It's not water resistant. Every product is extensively tested for safety with a minimum of 400 applications under the guidance of dermatologists. Wow, that sounds intense. Yeah, it's not water resistant, but I'm guessing it's kind of like a lightweight fluid. I'm telling you, sunscreen alone will help to lighten existing dark spots as well as prevent new ones from occurring. Proven by science to do that. Uh, what else does this have? Alcohol denaturant, which helps the sunscreen be very lightweight, fast absorbing, and not feel greasy on the skin surface. I bet this is actually pretty good. I, I would not be surprised if this is something I'd end up liking. It's an organic sunscreen, aka chemical, so may leave uh, a little bit of stinging sensation, irritation. Some people are sensitive to that, but shouldn't leave a white cast. These papaya cleansing pads okay papaya the enzyme papain it can you know soften and help exfoliate the skin but it's not it's it, it's not as like precise and sophisticated as something like even urea which is naturally found in your skin is a better option for doing that um you know if you tolerate something like this fine but it's just like not my preference this i kind of want to buy but i'm not going to buy it here i really like this um essential oil balm it's um very emollient i mean like super emollient and it does it doesn't have essential oils in it and I, I i encourage them to change the name of it because it suggests that they're essential oils but it's more like oils essential for skin look cvs has a version of cerave healing ointment which i have a tub of this unopened at home that reminds me i really like this as an old you know to use as you would petroleum jelly or aquaphor i prefer it to aquaphor it's got hyaluronic acid in it and i do think that that takes it to another level in comparison to just plain petroleum jelly because it really does have a hydrating effect like this works really well as a lip balm i find is this new the make it hybrid mineral combo from black girl i didn't know they had black girl at um at cvs so i love their kids sunscreen i've also tried they have a they have a matte sunscreen that's really good but this is a hybrid so it's got zinc and some uh, chemical aka organic filters in it probably leave a slight white cast oh this one's got lavender oil which is fragrance um not my preference but interesting water resistant 80 minutes you know that's kind of rare actually to find a water resistant 
SPF 50 hybrid sunscreen in the drugstore at an affordable price. It's over here in this in the wrong section though, so I don't know how much this is, but this brand is generally generally their sunscreens are around ten dollars. I'm telling you, Dove, is it just me? Have they abandoned skincare and gone way all in with hair? And I'm not mad I'm mad at it because I get bored with their body washes. I've whined to you guys about my disdain for the cord of moisturizer just yeah um I, i'm joking like I, i'm kind of going i'm kind of exaggerating i do like i do like their body washes they're not bad or anything um anyway i love their hair care like their shampoos i'm telling you are where it's at i'm, I'm not seeing the derma series here but they have a they have a um anti-dandruff shampoo that is excellent zinc pyrithione but this whole line looks new. The Scalp Plus Hair Therapy Density Boost. Hydrolyzed yeast protein may help have a temporary thickening effect for the hair. Mild shampoo. Then you have their clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoos help to remove buildup, but using them too frequently can make your hair dry and frizzy. What's this Scalp Hair Therapy Density Boost? Niacinamide, glycerin, and zinc peptides. I think this is just going to deposit some things on the hair strand that give it a, a volume, volumizing thickening effect to each strand, making it a little bit thicker. Again, the hydrolyzed yeast protein. But uh, what I was going to say is if you have a dry scalp, check out my video on dry scalp tips because before buying something that's intended to moisturize the scalp, because a lot of times it's more about changing up some of how you go about shampooing your hair that can make a difference. What is this? Um, 10 in 1 Bond Strength Serum Mask. Okay, I may have to buy this today because I have not seen this. And I love a good hair mask. Although, I wish they would start putting them in tubes because I, I, I complained to you guys about this and I saw one of you all agreeing with me and that's, that's all it takes for me to feel like I'm right. It's <laughs> just one of you agreeing with me uh, in the comments. I'm sure others did too, but I saw one, one person wholeheartedly agreeing with me that hair masks in pots are so unwieldy. You end up dropping them sometimes in the shower. The water, you're in the shower, like water gets in there. It's just, stop. But I am tempted to buy that. Patented technology, sign me up. I don't even know what's in this because it's hidden behind the peel and I'm not going to do do that and 1349 doesn't seem too bad they also have a seven in one miracle mist might have to try this as well i'm currently using a briogeo farewell frizz leave-in conditioning spray and i really like it it came in a fab fit fun box i wonder how this compares because 1029 is not too bad garnier fructis came out with some new shampoos man they had i think they still have a a line of shampoos that is exclusive to walmart they have this charcoal shampoo which is a great shampoo if you have buildup. i loved it i need to get it again at some point hair filler plus bonding inner fiber repair treatment oh this is interesting so citric acid can help to wow only 10.99 i'm sorry i got really excited there can help with um, improving hair strand smoothness by basically re, you know helping with if the hair strand gets kind of damaged and ruffled, if you will, from aggressive heat styling, doing chemical processing, ha um, dyeing your hair, bleaching your hair. Citric acid in these kind of products can definitely be helpful. Argon oil is really good for the hair. Um, and that's a good price. So recently, I just finished several, a month or so ago, I finished Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Leave-In, a leave-in conditioner. Ended up, you know, at first it was like, what, this is blah, 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 not that impressive. But as I used it and got to the end, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely seeing improvement. So I wonder how the Garnier Fructis, this is something that you rinse out. Um, and I know, I know they make these rinse out things like, um, what is it? l'oreal l'oreal paris they have a similar kind of thing then they've got high hair filler plus hyaluronic acid now this looks intriguing because it's got citric acid hyaluronic acid and hair for the hair strand not sure what that's uh, that's going to accomplish too much but there it is fragrance this is something that you know is exciting to look at but i think i would pass i would I'd be interested to try this shampoo though. Does it have methyl isothiazolinone? It does not. 
$10.99, that's a good price. Because shampoos, especially these jazzy ones, they've gotten like everything expensive. Oh, check it out. I'm kind of tempted to buy. I know I keep telling you guys I'm kind of tempted to buy X, Y, and Z, but I love trying out hair stuff. Malibu Hard Water Wellness. If you have hard water like I do, chelators in these shampoos. You know, a lot of them are helpful too if you um, if you swim. They, they can be good for for you know not getting your hair is damaged from the chlorine pool water hmm interesting 1849 though malibu blondes that's a blonde enhancing shampoo I'm not sure about that uh, here's the l'oreal bond strengthening you know citric acid this one's got citric acid in it too i think i've i've used these the shampoo and the conditioner i have this but i, I haven't used it um the shampoo and the conditioner were fine for my hair but they the shampoo has methyl isothiazolone in it so i don't recommend these same thing with the purple the purple shampoo. I really like this purple shampoo. It brightened up some of the natural blonde highlights in my hair, uh, but it has methyl isothiazolinone. I wonder how the John Frieda one is. Violet Crush for blondes. Uh, does that have? Yeah, this one's got methyl isothiazolinone too. What is with the purple shampoos putting the MI in there? Does that somehow, I don't know, work better? Oh my god. What in the 86 is this? uh lemon for well i know what it is because i'm i'm old enough to know what it is <laughs> but the fact that it still exists i just find comical like are people still making the mistake of using this this is a mistake like how does this still exist this woman is trolling you right here stay away from her well guys cvs did not disappoint i'm gonna wrap this video up but on the end slate i'm going to put my recent drugstore skincare shop with me video so check that one out next but if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye